What is up guys, we are back with another Pokemon moveset guide video. This one's going to be for Dragapult. Now if you guys do not know, Dragapult is probably the part of the best dragon type in the game, and arguably probably the best uh, ghost type in the game as well. If this thing is not moved to Ubers by the time this video is, is probably put out, um, then that's just absolutely insane because this thing is absolutely fucking insane. Best Pokemon in OU, the top usage, I think, I'm pretty sure this number one usage in OU is, is Dragapult. Absolutely broken on every team. You legit need to run, like, checks and counters just for this specific Pokemon in OU. Needs to be moved to Ubers. Same thing with uh, Galarian Darmanitan. Those two Pokemon need to be moved to Ubers stat. One of the reasons why I do not like playing OU in this current meta because of this Pokemon right here, and Gal Galarian Darmanitan. You have to run specific things just to check them. They're so such a pain in the ass to deal with. That being said, we're going to get into this video, because if you guys want to use this Pokemon, by all means do it wins games. Um, you're actually at a disadvantage if you don't have a Galarian Darmanitan or a Dragapult on your team if you're making an OU team. If that's how, how good this Pokemon is. Um, let's go to the stats. 88 HP, really good. 120 base special space uh, base attack, insanely good. Decent defense is at 75. 100 base special attack, nothing to laugh at. Still insanely good, especially with the move pull this thing gets. And base 142 speed, probably the fastest Pokemon, or one of the fastest new Pokemon we've gotten in the game. Uh, with a 2 for 2 Charlie, it's 421. You can actually even run, probably arguably run like a modest nature, and uh, get away with it. In most games as well. The problem is you'll get outsped by a opposing Dragapult. And you'll get one-shotted. So that's the pro kind of the problem. Um, so that's kind of why you have to run max speed. Timid. Um, with most of these sets. The Ghost Dragon typing. Really decent typing. Offensively. Defensively. Not so much. But offensively. It ain't too bad. Um, abilities. Cursed Body. Infiltrator. Insane good abilities. Clear Body. You're never going to be using. Infiltrator can arguably be used because there's a lot of subsets going around. Sub Corviknight, Sub um, Ferrothorn, Sub Hydreigon, a lot of different sets going around with Substitute. Being able to strike behind that is definitely good. Um, Curse Body as well, especially for things like Knock Off, uh, Physical Ghost type moves, um, Physical Fire type moves, um, just anything that just try to go after you. Um, he tried to hit you super effective, you have a 30% chance of getting rid of that move, and they can't touch you at that point. Probably the most common set currently in the in OU, Choice Specs. Um, Specs, Draco Meteor, Nukes. Um, you have Fire Blast for things like Ferrothorn and other Steel types, uh, Excadrill, stuff like that they want to come in. Um, now at the same current time, I think Dynamax is banned in OU, I think. Don't quote me on that, I'm not quite sure. Um, Shadow Ball. It's your it's your best stab unless you want to run hex for some reason I don't know why. Um, Shadow Ball, insanely good. And then you just got the U turn there. You're the fastest Pokemon in the, probably like the game in OU at least. I think in OU, barring any choice scarfers, even if you are running a choice scarf, you have to, I think beast like 115 demon out speed. I think that's what it is. U turn just for that switch initiative because you're gonna be switching out a lot with this thing. Most standard set you want to use a. So Really solid set and have find a lot of success. Just pick the set up, go right ahead and use it on your team. Um, next set, Life Orb. Pretty much the same thing, just with Life Orb. That's really all it is. Same EV spread you can run as well. Um, next one, actually going to be a leftover subset, right, which is the most, second most common set on most teams. Um, you throw up a substitute, you can't really, they have to pretty much hit you at that point. You pretty much get free, pretty much most things get 2 k old by Dragon Bolt anyways, uh, in the OU here, uh, apart from like, maybe like Toxapex, stuff like that, but most things get 2 k old Fire Blast 2 k old is Ferrothorn, if it's not special defensive, um, I think even if it is special defensive, it had, I think, 2 KOs. um, throw up a substitute, and then you just go for damage at that point. Um, if they don't have your infiltrator or anything that can get by in a sub, then they have to hit your sub. Then you're going to be getting uh, Cursed Body, which I think does still proc with sub. Overall, this is absolutely insane. This thing needs to be moved to Ubers, honestly. It's a pain in the ass to deal with. 
Um, then we have, that's not even it. It's actually the, um, probably the third most common set, more of a situational set, just because uh, Dragapult does not have any good ghost type physical stab apart from Phantom Force, which is unfortunate. I think if it had like Shadow Claw, it probably would be Ubers already. Um, that's probably the only thing that's holding it back from being Ubers. It's probably still going to be Ubers anyways, but apart from that, that it's, it's physical move pool isn't really that good. It's more of a special mod. Way more diverse special move pool. For some reason, this thing even gets Scald and Hydra Bump. Don't know why. This is how diverse of a move pool, especially special side, it does get. Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, um, Psychic Fangs, just mainly for things like Talk Specs that can get super effective. That and Phantom Force. Phantom Force is a little bit more powerful than like something like a Shadow Claw, which is raw damage with a high crit ratio. Um, if they have something like Protect Mon or they have like a, a bulky cool Dark type, it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass to kind of deal with. But that's why you pair it with something like a Fighting type, or you can you can work around it. Very close to those mods where you just you throw like two other mods on a team that pretty much just counter its checks, which there aren't really many of, and then you can just once they're gone, then you just pretty much sweep. That's how good of a mod it is. Um, you can even run, I'd say can you probably even run Adamant, because after one Dragon Dance, there's nothing that can outspeed you. There's literally nothing in the OU tier, apart from like maybe like a super fast Scarfer, which is super rare, that can outspeed you and kill you in one hit. Um, so you, arguably, if you want to run even like an Adamant Nature, or something like that, you can. With this set, just, you're going to be getting outsped by uh, other Dragapult. A few more choice Scarfers if they're one has them with no Dragon Dance. That is, um, and the probably the most like the other set that's probably the most situational. But if it it works, it, it sweeps teams. Uh, Endure weakness policy Dragon Dance with a uh, Phantom Force and Dragon Claw. Now this set only works if your team does not have any Stealth Rocks on the field, um, or if the other team has no priority. Uh, and there's like no things like sand. Tyranitar is super common. Tyranitar 100% checks this set. You can't be going against Tyranitar. Um, this thing can't take damage at all um, for the set to work. User survives attack this turn with at least 1 HP. Endure. Um, take a super effective hit like a like a, a super effective knockoff. Ice Punch. I don't know. For Garlea, Galarian Dermanitan. Choice Scarfed. Um, I think might outspeed you since you're adamant. I'm not quite sure. I don't even think it does, but even then, if you, you run the Endure, you live on 1 HP, get the Weakness Policy off, you throw up the Dragon Dance. At that point, if, if they are Choice Scarfed even, you all speed, then you can proceed to sweep the team. Very straightforward. You have to have a half of a brain if, to not even get the set to work. I don't know. It requires a little bit more support than like the other sets. The other sets are kind of just that like, you just throw it on your team and, and win. They said a little bit more support, but if it works, you can just automatically get like a 5 or 6 hole. That's how good the set is. Like I said, Dragapult is probably going to be moved to Ubers. The same with Galarian Garmanitan. You legit have to run like specific checks and uh, specific Scarfers to outspeed this thing. Because it's on legit every OU team. One of the reasons why I hate playing OU, just because of Dragapult, Galarian Garmanitan. Excadrill, Tyranitar, also on every team, but those two are a lot easier to deal with. Um, stuff like that. T Frere Thor and Talk Specs are on like most teams. A lot easier to deal with than these two ones. Uh, apart from that, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if there's any sets I did miss. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a showdown live. Uh, I got a pretty cool rain team I actually put together. Um, if you guys want to see a showdown live with that team, I'm also going to be making a uh, sun team, see how that goes. I want to test it out first. I just started building it a little bit ago, but we'll see how that goes. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a sub. Uh, and uh, see if we get this video to 200 views, that'd be great, and I'll see you guys in a future video.